Okay, I want to show you how to optimize all your images uh, without writing any code, uh, simply by leveraging a new feature in Azure called Web Jobs. So this allows you to optimize all the images of your website uh, using the power of the cloud. And so here I have a, an example website. It's a web forms, regular web forms website. And if we take a look at it, we'll see that it's very basic. Uh, I basically have uh, a single image here, and um, it's uh, 31 kilobytes. As we can see, it's printed out here on the image itself. And um, so we can see it right here. And if we take a look at um, the network here, we can also see that it is, in fact, uh, 31 uh, kilobytes here. Here we go. So. Um, of course, normally you would have a lot more images on your website, but um, let's just go back here and add a NuGet package. And um, let's see if we can find uh, Azure Image Optimizer right here. We're going to install it. And it doesn't add the image optimizer directly to the project. It does add a few new files, but we can safely ignore those. The only thing we have to do is to go in and publish. And uh, if we look at the preview here, we can see that something is being injected into the app data folder, but I don't actually have an app data folder in my project. So it happens sort of behind the scenes uh, using MS build uh, with the uh, publish step. So the files that are being um, published here are an exe file and uh, a lot of other uh, like DLL files and so on that make up the uh, Azure web job to optimize uh, my images. So up to PNG, G JPEG Tran, J uh, PNG out and so on. And now we can safely just publish. And uh, you see here it's, uh, it's done. So we go back here and we now have uh, published our uh, Azure web job. So if we go to the portal and uh, click on web jobs, and we can see that uh, we have a web job is now being deployed and, and we see here it's called image compressor dot job and it is running. So um, what happens uh, as soon as it starts up and it starts running, it will take all the images on your website and optimize them. And uh, so if we go back to our website now here and uh, simply just hit uh, F5, we can see that immediately we lost some weight here. It already optimized our image. So instead of 31 kilobytes, we're down to uh, 25 as we can see here as well. So that's great for optimizing the images that already exist on your website. Um, but what about the images that, for instance, your users can upload or if you have a blog and you upload photos yourself? Um, let's try to do that and see what happens. So I'm going to take this uh, image right here and we can see that it is 1700 bytes. And um, there's a file system watcher now that the Azure Web Job is uh, monitoring uh, any uh, any uh, new images that are being added and uh, automatically uh, compresses them. So now if we hit F5 again, we can see instead of 1700, we're down to 1500 bytes. And uh, this is without me writing any code, just adding uh, a NuGet package and uploading to Azure websites. Uh, it's as simple as that. Thank you.